All right, y'all. So we're back. We're gonna throw some jokes out. And see what uh, see what we can't do today. jugs out today i doubled what i had last time and uh, we got fish swimming everywhere now i just got them out and uh, we got fish up here we got fish back there so roll up here and see what uh see what we can't catch here i got a net with me today too i didn't have that the other day so we'll see i don't have a lot of bait though that's my big thing ah. There's fish number one, y'all. It was hooked pretty good. We didn't need the net. Nice eater channel. We're on the board. We're gonna we're gonna do better than we did last time. Where's that go? There it is. It's swimming away from me. There we go. Took pretty good too. These fish are biting a little bit better today. There we go. Oh, the sun's all bad. I know. I'm sorry, guys. They get out of the way of the sun. We're gonna keep the bait on this one too, so that's awesome. There we go, number two. We're gonna stack the fish up this evening. So I'll speak real quick here. These are my homemade jugs, and today I'm only using three eighths and a quarter ounce weights. Um, there's just not a lot of wind, and you know the thing about jugs is you want them to move. Uh, you know if they're just tight in one spot, it, it's not too good. You want them to move around. So using three eighths ounce weights, I've used up to four ounce weights on these jugs. So just kind of different every time. We got more jugs down over there. All right, so we got another one doing big things here. They're running to shore, they're running out of water. I don't know how big he is, but we'll give him a go. He's stirring up some mud. He's really making me chase him. Where'd you go? I gotta be in like two inches of water here. Where'd he go? Oh, there he was, under the boat. Well, this dude's really making us chase it. This may actually be a decent fish. He's really doing big things and going a lot of places here. Now the sun's gonna be wrong for you guys, but should be right for the GoPro here. This may be a better fish. y'all so we're catching fish um how you guys like the new view here been playing around with the, the camera locations and stuff so anyway this is working out pretty good for me so i gotta be honest i'm really liking this this thing is a jug fishing boat um once you kind of get it figured out it 
it's not too awful bad. Um, and boy, I tell you, with it being jet, uh, you can go in some really skinny water. But yeah, I'm super comfy here. But uh, anyway, let me, let me know what you guys think as far as uh, camera locations and filming and stuff. I always try to improve my videos for you guys. So obviously I'm out here doing this. I'm having a good time, but uh, I want to bring you guys along with me as well. So yeah, leave a comment down below. It's a pretty relaxing little evening here. Um, it was actually just a, a quick Friday evening after work situation here. I got out and I wanted to kind of uh, figure this boat out for you guys before the season really gets going. But yeah, having a good time out here, catching some fish. Wish we had a little bit more wind. The wind died down, kind of quit moving my jugs around and uh, you know, this really shallow water. It's nice to have some wind to kind of keep things, keep things stirred up, so to speak. Oh, there's one out there. He's doing big things, so let's go get him. Cool. We had about a 10 minute lull there. All right, so coming up to this jug here. This is actually the jug that uh, I made in the video there. If you guys would be interested in a, uh, seeing how I make these jugs, uh, you know, these adjustable float jugs here, I'll leave a link below to the, uh, the video where I did it. What do you got? I'm gonna grab you by hand, bud. Little bitty guy. Man, you guys are spunky. Wow. He was all twisted up. All right, so these are what I call little fiddlers. They're good if you cook them whole, but I get enough fish that I don't even, I don't even worry about it. If you guys would like to see a video on cleaning these guys whole, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll keep some, but let that guy go I'm not even worried about those little fish by the time you clean the red meat off of them uh, and the yellow there's not a lot of meat left on them and yeah you know, I'm not too awful worried about it I can come out here and catch fish about any time I want so we'll let that guy go that one there may be a bigger fish though it gets better driving this boat too it takes some getting used to smaller than this, they usually chuck back. <sighs> All right, so this jug here, this fish just took that whole jug under, so this may be a, this may be a big fish of the day. I haven't had one take the jug all the way under yet. Alright y'all, so that's about going to do it for me. Had a fun little evening, just a couple hours. Sun is just about to go down. Got all my jugs, picked them up, counted them. 
if you all ever, uh, you know, go out and do this jug fishing, make sure you, you don't leave any of your stuff behind. You know, always, always be diligent about keeping track of your stuff and counting them at the end of the day and, and different things like that. So anyway, y'all, uh, I'm going to head in. I have got just a cooler full of fish. I don't know if you guys can see that. I got a cooler full of fish. And uh, pretty good evening. Got some good eats there. Gonna we'll have a fish fry this weekend. So, uh, figuring this boat out a little bit more. I really enjoy this boat. Hope you guys are too. Um, it's fun. It's definitely fun, uh, fun fishing out of it. So anyway, guys, if you would uh, hit that thumbs up button, if you enjoyed this video, it really helps me out, it, me and the channel both. Um, if you're new, consider subscribing, look through a video playlist. I got a ton of fishing videos, probably find something you'll enjoy. Uh, leave a comment down below y'all. I'm headed to the boat ramp clean these fish. As always, y'all, I appreciate the view. See y'all in the next one.